really gooey. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a few weeks now, I think. <laughs> um, I've been crazy busy, but today I just wanted to really sit down and put up a new makeup tutorial. So I decided to do an updated how to contour, how to bake, how to highlight um, thy face. <laughs> And because my last video, I feel like I wasn't as in-depth as I could have gone. And I had a lot of questions after I posted the video because I feel like I wasn't being very clear on what I was talking about. I was really nervous. It was like one of my first videos. Not that I'm nervous now because it's still really weird talking to a camera, but here I am. So just um, to start out, I already put my primer and foundation on. So I... As you guys know by now, I really like the Becca Backlighting Priming Filter. I use this literally every day. It's probably the only primer I have right now because it's expensive. <laughs> Just saying. And then for foundation, I have been really liking the Milani Conceal and Perfect um, foundation because I always, I can never find my color in drugstore makeup. They always turn my skin orange, like guaranteed. But the color porcelain in this foundation, yeah, this one works super well. However, it is kind of drying for me. Like whenever, when I first wore it, I saw like dry patches on my skin. So I did mix it with the Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation Fluid, which is like super hydrating, super dewy finish. So I mix them together and it created I think a really good um, foundation. <laughs> By the way I say hello to my dog who is chilling in the back here. I try to say no that he cannot get on the bed but he jumps up anyway and I appreciate his stubbornness so there he is. His name's Dewey by the way. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump right in. So after we have foundation on I, if you're using cream contour, you would just, you know, go in with all the creams and then blend out and then boom. However, I do not have a cream contouring palette. I'm hoping I can get one soon so I can give you guys a tutorial on that. But I do not have one. Actually, though, I did go on to wish.com <laughs> and I got a $1 <laughs> contour palette because I was just interested in, like, what the quality was going to be like. This is what I got. It's not good. It's tiny. It looks like Barbie's makeup palette. So we're not going to be using that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to start with my concealer to highlight specific parts of my face and then I'm going to be moving on to powder because again I do not have any cream contours. So with um, concealer to highlight the face. You want to make sure you have a shade that's either a shade or two lighter than your skin tone. And if you are pale like me, yes, it is very difficult. This is hardly, it might be like a little bit paler than my skin tone, but hardly at all. So really it's up to the powders after you put on the concealer to really like highlight the places you want to highlight. <laughs> I have the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer in the color Fair. I really suggest this if you are really pale because it is, it's pretty good at highlighting the face and also it's really good at covering up dark circles if that's a, if you have that problem like me. Um, if you don't want the Tarte one or you just don't like it, there's also the Naked Skin Urban Decay one and I have the color Fair Neutral. This is also pretty good at highlighting, not as good as this one, but it's pretty good. It's just not as heavy as this one. This one is like a full coverage conce concealer and the other one is kind of very weightless, very um, natural looking. In fact, I'll usually use this on days I don't wear foundation or any other makeup to just like cover up blemishes or maybe pat it under my eye if it's a really bad under eye day. <laughs> so yes, so I'm taking the Tarte one and I'm just going to highlight my chin like that. My nose. 
my forehead. It really doesn't matter how you put it on, just that it's on your face. <laughs> and then my under eye area. And I'm doing kind of a triangle shape here. And if you want to con conceal other places like the sides of your mouth, you can do that. I'll do that right now, just to show you. Basically, we're just trying to slim the face down. And by putting a lighter color or a highlight shade in the middle of your face, you're really going to get that look, especially when you put on the contour shades on the outside, like the like a darker color, like brown or whatever. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> on the outer, it will definitely give you that like snatched looking face. Yeah, yeah, you get me. <laughs> anyway, I usually like to blend out um basically all my makeup. I mean, my foundation and my concealer out with a beauty blender because it really does give you a really good flawless look. You can also spray your face with like a Mac Fix Plus, Prep and Prime or something else if you want like a really dewy finish but I'm just going to take this damp um, beauty blender, I think I got it from Morphe and I'm just going to start blending this concealer into my skin and you can see it's not that much lighter than my actual skin tone, this concealer, but I think it's pretty good seeing that nothing else <laughs> highlights well on me. So under the eye, you're also kind of wanting to take some of that concealer that you put in a triangle shape up to like right here by your eyes because you're trying to like lift your eyes too to make them appear more awake and more open. I didn't get my eyelids right now um, because we're about to go in as powder so I want to make sure all the creams are done. So I'm going to take my Naked Skin Urban Decay concealer just because I like a little bit of a less heavy concealer on my eyelids because it just kind of feels too like too much during the day. Swipe it on. And I'm going to go ahead and use my actual beauty blender because it's a little more precise and smaller so it's a little better for the avids okay. so once we're set with that we're gonna go in with powder <laughs> so first I like to set some areas on my face I don't like to set the whole face sometimes however this is a very I used like a very hydrating concealer, I mean foundation, so I'm a little scared it might like not hold up during the day. So I am going to just brush it everywhere. I'm gonna swipe some powder. So I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and I'm just kind of setting that makeup. If you have and then I'm also going to get my eyelids. You don't want to forget that or else they're going to crease badly and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get your eyeshadow to that perfected, blended look. <laughs> so I am going to do one step of baking right now. I won't do like, I won't bake my whole face until after I get um, my face nice and contoured. I do like to get my under eyes right away so they don't crease too much. So I'm just taking this damp beauty blender. I put a ton of this RCMA no color powder into this little pan. And I'm just 
going ham, just really dipping this in there. You want to make sure that Beauty Blender is damp or else the powder will not stick as well as you want it to at least. Also remember if you're pale it's not necessarily going to like look like you have a ton of powder under your eyes even though you do. So don't get like oh my god I have to put even more on to really get that powdered look. Because that's not necessary. It's just this is white powder if you're really pale it's just you know I'm not going to show it that well. <laughs> well let's accept it. And so I'm pressing this into my skin. Okay? So I had all that powder on it, I didn't tap off or anything, and I just w directly went into that eye, and I'm just pressing it in. If you want more, then just go back into the powder, really get your sponge in there, and then go back, press it into the skin. I also kind of dab it, like just dab dab, you know. You see what I'm doing? <laughs> I like to go all the way up with that powder because that's kind of like how we highlighted it with the concealer. So I'm just kind of following that path. Because you want your under eyes to be nice and highlighted so it, cause it's going to make you look a lot more awake. It's going to really get that slim face effect that you might want if you're trying to contour. Okay, so when you go in to actually like start contouring and putting blush on and highlight, some of this will probably not hold up. That's okay. What we really wanted to do like right after getting that concealer on is just make sure that that under eye does not crease. After we have done everything else, you can go back in and highlight with that powder again and just kind of keep it there for a little while longer if you really want to make sure that this is nice and highlighted. But we're not going to worry about it falling off as we blend and, you know, do what we're going to do. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette today. Which is here. <laughs> um, so I will say that this highlight shade, the lightest one there is, is not really a highlight shade on my skin so if you're pale like me you're not going to be happy with that. It's more like a setting powder really. <laughs> it's just how it works in our world. You know, <laughs> it's kind of make do. So if you have a cool undertone you are probably going to be wanting to use this. Not all fair girls have like a cool undertone necessarily but if you do, <laughs> then you want like a gray undertone in your contour shade. So that would be this one. Right here. And then if you have more warmer undertones, you're going to be wanting to use one of these. So yeah, since I'm super duper pale, I do use a cooler contour shade since I have cool undertones. I usually like to go in with a smaller brush when I'm putting the contour on and then I'll go in with a bigger brush later to blend it. And this is just because I want to like make sure I'm putting the shade like where I want it to be. So I'm taking just this light shade right here and I'm going to start, I'm going to tap out the excess and I'm just going to start it where I want to put it. Okay, so if you want to get the hollows of your cheeks, so go ahead and do the fishy face. You know what I'm talking about? Like that. And you want to kind of stop the contour in the middle of your cheek. Not the cheek though. Hollows. <laughs> hollows of the cheek. But you want to stop like in the middle. Like here. Even maybe even before that, if you blend down. Because you're trying to like snatch the face and kind of like get it lifted looking. So if you go all the way down to your mouth, it kind of like gets that illusion. Um, it doesn't give you that illusion. So I'm just going to start right here, like a little above my ear, following that like fishy face thing. 
You can also feel it too. It's like between these two bones. And I'm just stopping there. If you want a more youthful look, you kind of want to round it a bit. But I kind of want just a really snatched look today, so I'm just leaving it like that. Just a straight line. And I'm just doing the same thing on this side. So next part is this jawline and the chin area. If you have a large chin, then go ahead and just like contour like right on the sides of it just to make it a little, it look a little more sharper and a little bit more smaller. If you have a smaller chin, then you don't really want to contour it too much. You just kind of want to highlight it more if you, so you can get like a bigger chin effect <laughs> if that makes sense to me too. So I have a pretty small chin, so I don't really want to contour too much or else this is going to vanish. But I like to get it looking a little bit sharper, and I also like to make my jawline a little bit more sharper. So I'm going to go in with this contour shade all around my jaw. Get right under that chin. And then this side as well. I'm putting like a lot more contour on than I usually would just so you can really see what I'm doing. And then I also you want to make sure to bring blend that down. Go ahead and go to my nose. Now personally I have a very slim nose that I don't usually like to contour it like heavily because it just makes it look even more narrow and I don't necessarily like that look but I will go ahead and do it today just so you can get like an idea so I'm just going to use that contour shade again I'm going right on that nose and I'm just going along the bridge if you have a wider nose and you really want to get that slim look really you can just like go in more towards the middle of your nose. And I also like to kind of bring that towards the eye area. So as you can see, I'm really just staying on the sides of my nose because I don't want to slim my nose even more down. Oh, so I'm going to have like nothing left. <laughs> So I'm just stopping there. And then if you want like an illusion of a button nose, you want to just like do a kind of V at the end of your nose. And then there's also, you can also like shade almost in the middle, but a little more down. And then you would highlight this part and that would give you more of an illusion of a button nose. We got that. I'm also going to go ahead and contour my eyes a bit just to give it a more like snatch look at my look. I don't know. So again, this is just going to make my eyes look a lot more lifted once we really blend that out. Now we're going up to the forehead, also the sides. So if you have a wider face, like a more round face, and you want to get that snatched illusion, you're going to want to put contour on the sides of your face and your kind of, and I mean your forehead and the holes of your cheeks, obviously, but. If you also have like a larger forehead, you're going to want to put more contour and like bring it more down and just highlight like a smaller section of the forehead and it's going to make you look like you have a smaller forehead. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in on the sides of my forehead 
because I'm really trying to get that snatched look. So you really want to get like your temples and bring it up to that hairline and maybe even go into the hairline actually. And then I'm also going to put some, I'm kind of going to connect it a bit just to snatch my face a little more. again just going to that side of the forehead and bringing it down to almost meet that cheekbone contour and then I'm also going to put some right up here I'm not going to put too much on though because I guess I have a pretty normal size forehead I don't know but I just don't like to get rid of too much of it so that's basically it. So I'm just going to take um, a little bit of a larger brush, but I still kind of like it to be kind of precise. Just so I don't like get contour everywhere and, you know, get rid of that illusion that I just created. So I'm going in with this Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to start blending. Something you forgot to add, if you want your lips to look a bit fuller, go ahead and contour it right under your bottom lip. You really just want to spend some time blending, making sure it's looking that nice and sharp. So now we can move on to baking. And this is like another form of highlighting your face. It's going to clean up any um, mistakes you might have made. Like for me, I went a little too high on that jawline bronze um, contour so it's kind of a little up here and I don't want that so I'm going to clean that up when we bake and if you do have super dry skin and you don't um, want to bake like everywhere just like bake under your contour on your cheek and then just that's fine. I'm going to bake a lot more than I usually do today just to kind of give you guys that snatched look. <laughs> and baking is also great because it really makes sure it really holds your makeup in. So it will really like last a lot longer than it might usually. And I do like to sharpen up that contour a bit more. Not to a point that looks really unnatural, but just you know, to really clean it up. I also like to get the sides of my mouth in case I went too far down with that contour when I was blending. This will also keep certain areas from creasing, so if like your makeup around your mouth creases a lot, you can just really right around your mouth and just like keep going in until you feel like you have enough powder on and then you're good so I have like um run this often um gets through my foundation on my chin during the day so I really like to bake a lot right there just to really make sure that foundation and concealer sticks. 
I'm going to go back into that eye area because as I said, as you blend, it will kind of wipe away. So I'm just going to put And then I'm also going to go ahead and do the forehead. I don't usually do the forehead because I usually get the driest there, but I'm just going to show you the illusion. So if you do have a bigger forehead and you're trying to get that more, um, that smaller forehead look, you don't want to put too much baking powder on because that will get rid of what you did with the contour and it'll just like, the high, any highlight on your forehead is kind of going to make it look bigger. So just a heads up. Then I'm also going to head it and get my, the middle of my nose. So now, if you are planning on doing like a long day, going out at night, you want to kind of give this some time to set and don't really, not really touch it, but since I'm probably not going to be doing anything but getting a pizza and laying on the couch, <laughs> I'm just going to wipe it off. <laughs> so I'm going back to the Kat Von D palette and I'm just going to go ahead and use this um, highlighting shade. Although, as I said before, it's not really a highlighting shade on me. I usually like to use MAC Emphasize, <laughs> but I hit pan hard on this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have like nothing left, so I have to go to MAC and get me a new one of those. So today, we're just going to be using the Kat Von D one. So I take a fluffy brush, and this is the Morphe E3 brush. And I just dip it into that powder, tap off the excess, and I just start wiping away that baking powder. After we got the contour done, now we move on to the other things. I usually like to bronze. It's usually fine if you just like want to contour, but I like to warm up my face a little bit. So I'll usually go in with a bronzer and my favorite bronzer, which is the Milk Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced, actually broke <laughs> just this past week. It was a very emotional time, not gonna lie. <laughs> So I'm going to be using the Hula Bronzer instead today, and I'm going to be using the Morphe M523 brush to just work that in. And bronzer is just really to warm up the face, it's not to really contour, but I'm kind of staying within what I did with the contouring shade. I don't want to lose what I made here. I'm not going to go too far down with this bronzer on my forehead and kind of staying on the sides. So that's just gonna warm up your face a bit. And now we're gonna go in with blush. This is also, blush is also kind of a way to really lift your face more. But all, but I mean also it just brings color to your cheeks, which is also great. So I'm gonna be taking my Morphe 9 in the palette. And I'm gonna be taking it in this blush right here, which is like my absolute favorite blush. I love it. It's really nicely pigmented, but at the same time you kind of want to be more careful due to the fact that it's so pigmented. But I'm gonna be taking my Morphe E4 brush, which is like this angled brush. I'm just gonna dip it in, tap out, because I don't wanna be too generous with this. And I'm really gonna focus the brush right up here above that contour, but below your actual cheekbone, because you don't wanna like put it right on the, you know, like your cheeks, 
right here because then you're going to kind of look like a doll or like a clown. So, and again, we're trying to get that lifted face effect. So this is just another way to really get that. And then I kind of bring it down more. And I again, I'm not getting like that right there on your cheek. Kind of going below that almost. I'm also going to get a fluffy brush with no product on it. And I'm just going to kind of blend the contour and the blush together more. Now the fun part, which is highlight. Yeah, so my favorite highlight technique that I've been using for a while now is I go in with my highlight, um, highlight, duh, my Hourglass um, Effervale Light Ambient Lighting Powder because this is more of a natural highlight. So I like to just go in with this first. And I'm using the Morphe M510 brush, which is, I think, my favorite highlighting shade. I mean, brush. <laughs> It together. <laughs> so I'm going right on those cheekbones with this and it's so natural I just like to bring it almost in that under eye area like on my cheeks just get like that natural glow going on with this And if you're happy with that and you like more of a natural glow, then that's cool. This is a really good at giving you that almost natural looking glow. But I mean, again, we're not really that natural. Let's be real here. <laughs> but it is as close to natural as you're going to get with a highlight, I think. <laughs> and then I really like to take my Mary Luminizer highlight. And this kind of has a gold undertone to it. However, unlike Champagne Pop, it's not like pure gold, and I think it looks a lot, a little bit more natural almost. I won't say natural though. Just a little less gold on pale skin. So I'm taking the same brush, just going in with that. And I'm going to be a little less generous with this because it is a little bit more pigmented. So I'm just getting the cheekbones with this. And I'm going to get my cupid's bow. Get some of my chin here. And obviously once you have finished your eyes, you're going to want to put some highlight in the inner corners and on your brow bone. Because that's just going to make your eyes look more lifted with the highlight on the brow bone. And it's going to make your eyes look a lot more open and awake if you put it on the inner corners. But since I have not done my eyes yet, I'm going to wait on that. And yeah, that's basically it. And then you can go back in and blend some more if you want. I hope this was a little bit more clear than my previous video. But actually, to, um, before I finish this up, I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup. And then I'm going to come back here and, you know, give you the spiel, you know, subscribe, thumbs up, comment. Yeah, I'm just going to. Hey guys, so I really hope you found this um, tutorial really helpful, um, a bit more a bit more helpful than my previous video, and <laughs> okay, he's just gonna, he, he's, he wants to be the star here. Um, and if you did, please comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.